now time for our cooking segment. We're live in the kitchen at Kelly's Furniture and Carpet One, and today I'm going to be your celebrity chef. Oh. With the help of everybody else, I had mm -hmm. Carol Kellum back here chopping up some mm -hmm. veggies and fruits as well as Mark Kruger. So if it weren't for them, we wouldn't be able to do this. So mm -hmm. thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Well, today we are going to be making a chicken Waldorf salad sandwich. Sounds good. So have you ever had it before? I have not. I've had a different variation of this. So we're going to make a new one that is very popular and very common. Okay. And what you do is you usually eat it with a sandwich as opposed to just a regular salad. So we okay, have some good. croissants here that we're going to put it on once we're done mm. with the mixture. So first we have to make the base, which includes some plain Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. Okay, actually, actually, let me have you do that. Okay. We need some grapes. Want me to, want me to start cutting them? Yeah, okay. so these grapes are pretty big. Uh, the recipe asks for a half a cup of chopped red uh, seedless grapes. But like, as you notice, that these are kind of big, so I'm having you uh, chop them into quarters. So mm -hmm. that way, they're a little bit smaller and easier to uh, bite into when you put it in your sandwich. Now, as for the main mixture, while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and main, make the main mixture. And it includes one um, container, which is 5.3 ounces of plain Greek yogurt. You're going to put that in. And then it also asks for a half a cup of mayonnaise. So if you're uh, watching what you eat, this is probably not the best for you, but it is delicious. Make it, make it the meal for your cheat day. Yes. It also asks for a quarter cup of orange juice and just a little bit of, I see all the experts do that, right? Do you like throw it over your shoulder afterwards? Okay, of salt. And then you're going to mix it together. I actually do have a whisk here, so we'll oh, do that good. to make it a little easier. And once you make your base sauce, it's going to look a little soupy and watery. That's okay because you actually have to chill this for about an hour once you mix everything in before you serve it, so it thickens it up. Yeah. So once we do that, we're going to continue with the rest of our ingredients. And that includes... You almost done? Am I almost? Of course. All right. So again, we already uh, pre-chopped everything just to make it go a lot smoother, but it includes a half a cup of celery. So we're going to dump that in there. And then it also includes a half a cup of seedless grapes, which you need to continue. Go ahead. You want to put those in there? Oops, yeah. We lost one. Uh, can't we win, lost can't, one. Can't win them all. There you go. All right. And then it also includes two cups of chopped chicken. Now, what I did with this is you can use leftover chicken if you want, or to make it easier, buy rotisserie chicken mm -hmm. at the grocery store okay. and chop it up. And that's exactly what I did. Okay. So, and this is half side of the rotisserie chicken. The other half is in the other serving that I made last night. All right. And then after that, I'm not going to use a whisk. We're just going to go ahead and stir everything in. Mix that bad boy up. Yes. And then... You're going to put this in the refrigerator, like I said, for about an hour to get it nice and cold and chilled because this is a cold salad uh -huh. sandwich, Okay. right? And then after that, we're going to put up some finishing touches which include candied walnuts. Now with the walnuts, you can buy regular walnuts mm -hmm. and toast them in the frying pan if you'd like and just add a little bit of sugar and butter and to kind extra. of caramelize yeah. it. Or you can buy prepackaged ones to make it a little easier and that's exactly what I did. Another thing I just forgot can't forget Mark Kruger's all hard work, is the apples. Oh, yeah. It asks for one medium-sized uh, Granny Smith apples. If you prefer red apples, it's just up to you. And then it also, uh, the recipe calls to add a little bit of lemon juice. And the mm -hmm. reason why you add the lemon juices is so, I don't know if you remember our random tip of the day, mm -hmm. it helps uh, keep the, the so apples. The, so they won't turn. Yeah. yeah. But you have to make sure that you dump out the excess oh, right. Gotta do that. lemon juice, because you don't want that in your sa salad, right? And then once you're done with that, you're just going to add that in. And again, you're going to mix it all up, and then you're going to stick it into the refrigerator for about an hour. So when we come back, we'll go ahead and have it chilled, and then we'll add the finishing touch, which includes the candy walnuts. You don't want to add the candy walnuts in right away, Kay. because they're going to get nice and, they're going to not get nice and soggy, they'll get they're going to get soggy. Yeah. They'll get so bad and soggy. You want to add the candied walnuts right before you serve your main dish. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll continue stirring that. You do sure all thing. the hard work. You got it. Right? And uh -huh. then we'll come back and make a croissant, which... Yes, excited to try it. All right. And welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're looking at a delicious sandwich we just made mm -hmm. live on Good Morning Heartland. Oh, yeah. We actually made a chicken Waldorf salad sandwich on a croissant. 
Really easy to make. All you really need is um, a cup of mayonnaise, uh -huh. a quarter cup of orange juice, and a 5.3 ounce um, container of just plain Greek yogurt. Yes. That's going to be your sauce base. You're going to mix that together. Mm -hmm. Once you're done mixing that, you're going to set it aside and then you're going to chop off, chop up all your needed other ingredients would include apples, mm -hmm. grapes, grapes chicken. celery, chicken. A celery, forgot about the celery. Yes. And then once you have those all chopped up, whether depending if you want it nice and fine or big, but of course because it's a salad you want them kind of nice and chunky. Sure, yeah. You're going to go ahead and put the rest of that mixture in there as well and then you're going to stir it all in together mm -hmm. and then you're going to serve it. You're going to put this in the refrigerator for about an hour to chill it to kind of thicken it up yeah. a little bit because that sauce base is a little uh, is a little runny. So it's not as runny. Yeah, it makes yes. sense. And then once you're done, you're going to add your candied walnuts. Now you can buy prepackaged candied walnuts or you can make your own. Just mm -hmm. toast them in the frying pan. Yeah. And then you add a little salt and pepper to taste. And then for the sandwich part, I just bought little croissants and we did a little spring mix salad. So ah, you can great. do arugula if you want. You can do a spring mix. You can do just regular lettuce if you want. Sounds whatever. so fresh too. Yeah. Everything about it. And then all you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and put the lettuce leaves on the bottom. Yeah. And then you're going to go ahead and scoop up your mixture. Just like that. And voila. There you go. Enjoy. All right, all right, all right. While you enjoy, yes. I'm going to let everybody know that they can find this recipe on Good Morning Heartland's tab at the top of the homepage. Just uh -huh. head on over to heartlandconnection.com. 